we decided to set up a little experiment. Hi, you are right. Can I help you? I'll have a, a latte to take away, please. We've rigged this coffee shop with hidden cameras and got a member of our team to serve the drinks. You can take a seat by there and I'll call you over, OK? Outside, we'll be encouraging people in with free coffee if they like our Facebook page. Can I interest you in a free coffee? You've got Facebook? Yeah. And downstairs, we've got Cal Leeming, formerly the UK's youngest convicted hacker. He's now a cyber security advisor. OK, we have Ollie coming in now. He goes to He, along with team member David, will be finding information that's out there for anyone to see online. She was in Sydney for New Year's. You go with your friend for New Year's Eve. Yeah. yeah. How did you know that? Yeah, we got him. Your birthday's on the 22nd of the 8th, and your email starts with Liam. Yeah. your recess. <laughs> She's about to come in right now. Have you liked and commented on the page? Wait. Wait, wait. In a relationship with. And you play the guitar, right? Yeah. I, yeah. How do you know this? I'm just going to look at the rest of his timeline now. Josh, 26, chef, and you're a Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> a bit shocked, actually, how easy it is to be able to, I don't know, get in my information. Okay, Simon, info is. You're a long way from home. Sorry? Are you travelling back to today? Worked at the Royal Mail. You uh, used to work at the Royal Mail, and you're a coach driver. I thought everything was all secure and that, so yeah, it's very surprising. You're going back to Newquay anytime soon. I know you went last year. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all of these sites uh, offer up to the public if you haven't protected them properly. Personal information. It was all out there. All out there. Yeah. yeah. We were able to see things like date of birth, uh, passwords, mother's maiden names. Worst case scenarios, we've seen this type of information being used against people in extortion, blackmail. This can be absolutely devastating. It's quite creepy, like, what you can find out on the internet, isn't it? Like... Incredible stuff. It just goes to show you can't be too careful, especially when free coffee is involved. If you have a moment, do take a look at the Crime Watch website, which has lots of information and advice about how you can protect yourself online.